Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And give me just a moment to satisfy my neuroses. There we go. OBS is working. <laughs> okay, so last time we got ourselves our lovely new carpenter, even if the quests haven't recognized it yet. Now we need to figure out where we're going to go with this next. So if I recall, I was getting ready to set up a burn pile for that new type of ash. Yes. That sounds like what I was doing, and I was going to see if putting a sponge tool rod on my shovel would help me get the clay faster. Because we are going to be using clay, at least for our first few burns. We'll see if, uh... We'll see if... Maybe ash bricks are necessary or not. So let's just go gather that up real quick. Hmm. Where to go? My shovel's off the screen. Is that through of all my weapons? What's going on? Hold on. Lag spike. You aren't helping, lag spike. Why are you so extreme, lag spike? Yeah, all my weapons are off screen. Is What's going on? Hold on. Getting some sort of weird video error. Well, we'll just put up with it for now. That's a bizarre one, though. Aha! Now, that is unfamiliar to me, though. But if I just go with this good old-fashioned gray clay, is that... That's still unfamiliar. Hmm... So maybe sponge is a bit of a mistake. Can I use this for anything? Can I like just melt it down into clay balls? I could. And if I take that into... No, I can't really cast that back into clay balls any which way, can I? I can cast it into bricks. And cast it into terracotta. Hmm. Well, can we find any just plain Minecraft clay anywhere that we could use? Of course, there has to be a million different types of clay. And we have to be freezing to death. Let's turn it daytime. That should help. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking that Silk Touch on the shovel might be a mistake. At least if you're after just standard clay. And it doesn't even work on gravel. Hmm. Well, that is a potential waste of a sponge I just committed. Really need to get that dang geologist stage, whatever it is. Did I miss a book? Village Geology 101, hmm. But I think Geology 101 is one I read, isn't it? I don't know, maybe I need to do another raid over in Jailmaster's place, because that was the era that those books were in. Are none of these standard Minecraft clay? None of these deposits we're finding around. Aha. Uh -huh. You are looking like the proper shade of gray. Yeah, okay. So, Silk Touch Shovel, if we have a supply of clay, just plain clay, or we find a way to convert all this bullshit clay, then let's just throw it out. It's cheap stuff anyway. Okay, so that's the thing. We just need to get our hands on enough Minecraft clay just to build the structure out of, and we can recycle it since we have a Silk Touch shovel now. We might as well keep the sponge on it, just so it's not a waste. And hopefully we can figure out something to do with those other clay blocks so that clay is easier to hunt and I don't need to go hunting specifically for the one special stupid type of clay that it's specifically asking me for. 
Not that it's looking like it's particularly hard to find, at least not up on the uh, shelf around the island. Yeah, if I could use all those other types of clay, this would be a bit less trouble than just, uh, no, that's unfamiliar, of course. It's not quite the right shade of gray. We can't identify it. I suppose I, of all people, could be the, uh, the badly trained visual recognition AI. Really, I've, I've done this to myself just with being who I am. Eh, sure, let's keep the dirt. Oh, right, I have a bunch of stuff in my pockets, too. All right, I, I probably have more than enough, but we might as well get a little bit of excess. Just to have it stored up. I think I need to melt some more clay down for for some uh, refractory clay anyway. Might as well might as well replace the uh, stock of clay balls. The stash in that's nearly empty. Just start keeping it in block form as our standard storage now. It's more compact. Hmm. Real damn pity that we can't just melt down the other types of clay and cast them into balls. Or something. Well, I guess I could melt them down in the crucible, if they're compatible with the crucible, just by throwing them in a hopper. Maybe that's some science we'll do real quick. Let's get some... Let's get some crappy wrong clay. Like you, you look, you look like some likely lads. There we go. Let's see if we can melt that down. Need to get our body heat back up anyway. Ah, hello, new storage system. I'm, I need to re-familiarize myself with you. So, da, da, da. all you, I need to turn this jungle wood, I think, into log pile. And the rest will just keep. Yeah, we'll call that kind of, where am I keeping the charcoal? Here? No, that's not charcoal, that's... Oh, I'm keeping the charcoal in there. Well, okay, I guess this is kind of fuel adjacent. And it could also go in the pyrotech. Eh, frick. Okay. Clear out the garbage. So, what I need to do is I need to go and take these lovely... No, oh, I need more than that. That's not a worthwhile amount to burn. You know, I'm beginning to think that maybe I should just... Yeah, we should just... Well, this is over the ocean, isn't it? It is. So we can just bucket up water from down there. That's no problem. Hmm... There. Yeah, that works. Just because water is something that this thing will frequently use in, in bulk. I need to make some more glue. Been a while since we had that one. 
Well, to the blood bank. Because this is still the easiest way to get slime. You're helping out so much, victims. Thank you. Your suffering is justified by my gain. I, I don't think they're very well appeased by that. Yeah, that's the dead silence of unforgiveness. Oh well, they can't do anything about it. Hmm. I suppose that... It's 16 entire bucks of blood. It's okay that it's a bit slow like this. It's an entire 100 slimes worth, but maybe I should make a faster output for that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that looks like it drained like maybe somewhere between a quarter and a third. Yeah, I could do this two more times and it still wouldn't be empty. Hmm. Should I make a faster way to get this put into the into the smelter? You know what? Why not? Do I have any more seared bricks left? Yeah, that might do. I need to melt more clay, like I was saying. You know what? Let's upgrade this thing, too. Just while I'm in the neighborhood. Oops. I need to make some more refractory bricks. I need to make some more refractory bricks for uh, for the sake of the glue anyway. Oh, right. It needs to be quickened first and then slaked, of course. How silly of me. I don't know why I thought I needed to hold the lever down until it was done that one time. I boggle myself sometimes. Alright. Oh, I already had some bricks in here. <laughs> oh well. I just need to... No, wait, I just need... I need 20 bricks for some... Oh, right, I'm making... I'm making an upgrade for that. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I missed that shift to get as much as you need thing already. Yeah, I might as well upgrade that because even though it has the same burn time, I remember that the refractory crucible seems to hold more. And that would serve better with the automation that we're setting up on it in order to just test out the freaky clay. Do we have a spare hopper anywhere? No, but we have a spare chest. That's close enough. So now I'm going to need two of these. I'm going to need a glue. Of which I am completely out. Oh boy. Well, let's finish up that uh, that refractory clay already. Hurry up and, and get to it. There, that'll do. And then we just need some flint. Which is stored here. There we go. Get lots. Maybe a bit too much lots. Well, it's a good thing that we're currently trying to make uh, to make filling this thing a bit easier. Right, I need that for glue. Let's just 
put the rest of this in here for now. And this goes in here. Okay, so then I need I need the slime balls. So well, I should just I should just hurry up and uh, make the damn automation that I was talking about before I got distracted. So gonna need four drains. Gonna need four taps. And I might not be able to make enough channels. Well, didn't I have some channels in storage somewhere? Did I throw them out? I might have, ah, uh, no, okay. So. Oh. I missed some decoration down there. I bet there's a couple of people who spotted that in the time lapse and have been yelling at me. Well, fear not, today the OCD shall be sated. Okay. And those should all be Celtic, right? Can never find the dang Celtic. Oops. Well, that's that's also There we go. Now, put those drains down. Those aren't drains. Now we're back to the same problem again. Oh well. They'll either phase out or they'll phase in and I can pick them up from the controller. Okay, and now I can take these. Of which I don't indeed have enough. But I have enough to at least get some started. And I can put the tanks up there, put the taps on, and just pour. And we have a fast insertion system for the smelter in progress. We'll need to put some more seared stone on too. That should be enough. I don't even need to make this into slabs. I can just bung it all in. And for fast casting of the blood, I can just take these out and just run it plain. More blood. Hmm. So is it just that the hoppers are messing it up, or is it some other thing messing it up? Hmm. Let's try getting them out of sync. See if that helps. No, the hopper can should be able to hold as many as it needs to. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. You know what? Seared brick would probably look better. Make this all aesthetic. Yeah. Because it is kind of part of smeltery. Kinda. So why you know? You are mysterious. And I don't like that. Regardless, nice stack of slime balls turned into slime balls. And do we have, yeah, we do. So with that, just make us a nice 
stack of glue after I fill this thing up. You know, I technically have the technology to start doing this automatically. Mm, I've gone on a few too many tangents today already. And I've already had my daily luxury increase making the, uh, making the decadent, um, blood insertion, yes, system thing. Okay. And from there, let's just switch it back to ingot mode and get those. Why are you not? Why are you not? Oh. A little bit of lost blood. No big deal. I'm not going to sweat it when I don't have perfect casting over something I have an infinite amount of. Okay, you are behaving more like yourself. Cool. And just because I'll forget otherwise, let's finish off the system now. There we go. It's a perfect amount, too. There we go. There we go. Smelter, easy blood entry. It could also be used for other liquids. Technically, I could use this thing to mass manufacture obsidian 16 at a time with these tanks if I went and got some lava, but why would I want to make lava in the smeltery when I can just mine it in the abyss really easily? Eh. Yeah. Okay, so what did I want glue for? I wanted glue to make the hopper. And also to make more wood log pile things. Oh, I should have used the jungle wood on that. Because I'm going to need lots of that ash. Oh, well. Oh, well. Regardless. Hopper on the clay burner. And if we take the stupid clay that I must have thrown out, let's go grab some more real quick. Let's just grab a ton real quick. No, that's salt. Yeah, let's just go up to these fields and just grab a goodly amount of it. That'll do. That'll lag the game. Okay, so. With these unknown clay types. If I just takes them and I... Run them into the crucible. If the moon pool will let me in. I should put, like, stairs or a ladder or something on that. No. So, this clay is utterly useless to me. Damn. And that makes the... That makes the Silk Touch Shovel a very unattractive choice, I think. Double damn. Hmm. Well, regardless, let's just kind of pile up as much charcoal as will fit in that thing. Start piling in blocks and uh, let's get it running. Just to grab these clay blocks. Oh, that's what I did with them. I put them in there. 
Well, we found out that they're useless anyway. Yeah, let's just pile up as much as it'll take. Let's get a lot of clay melted. Because we're going to be making some more glue. Actually, do I have a cheaper glue recipe now that I have the carpenter? Yeah, I do. That just uses clay and wood pulp, as well as liquid clay. Hmm. And it has to be pyrotech liquid clay. I can't melt it in the smeltery. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Well, regardless, we can make we can make glue very easily either way now. Uh, let's get back to something more technical. No, no, that was me experimenting in my creative world. Uh, let's get back to making a core. I didn't know the recipes thing went over between worlds. Yes, but let's. So I'm gonna need three, four, five blocks of steel, as well as some of the steel scaffolding drill head. Hmm. You know, for that steel scaffolding, that does use steel rods. I'm not sure what the ratio you get from a metal press is. And in any case, I don't think a metal press is terribly expensive, is it? No, that's just two steel scaffoldings, some basic blocks, and a piston. We should have most of that on stock already. Yeah, just need to make more, one more piston and maybe some more engineering blocks. Okay. Well, we can do that. We can pull that pretty easy. Let's just, uh... Come on. Game, you're being a bit, you're being a bit, uh, you're being a little bit complaintive today at me, game. What's going on? Okay. So, metal press. Yeah. Uh, it'll even show you check marks when you have them all. Oh, uh, we also need to make some conveyor belts. And for that, we're going to need some leather, I do believe. Yeah. Two iron and a redstone. Do I really not have any powdered redstone on hand? I would put that in there, right? Let's get some. Let's get a nice supply of it, because we use this stuff by the bucket load. And I don't think there's any easier way to take redstone out of block form. Like if I... Yeah, we can make it in the thermionic fabricator, the compactor, the... The bucket. But I don't think there's any easier recipe to... I should go redstone dust recipe, yeah. So you can mine it up, it generates an ores get it from bees. But yeah, there really aren't very many recipes for redstone dust. Not very many good ways of breaking these blocks down, at least not at our current tech level. And I, I don't say that knowingly. I don't say that knowing that there's a better path ahead. I say that just ponderingly, hoping that there will be a better path ahead. Regardless, conveyor belts. Yes, they're relatively cheap. You get tons of them. They move items and people and stuff like that around. Ah, excellent. And also excellent. I was right that that's storing more than just the four of them, though, so let's keep that going. Yeah... Maybe at this rate... No, it would take way too long. It pours out faster than the, like, two or so minutes that it takes. 
How are you guys doing? Do you need to, me to, uh... Well, you need to be emptied out. Nothing in the tank? Okay. Let's a go. Let's just keep it burning. In fact, let's keep everything a burning. We just got ourselves some new logs. We might as well run the luxury pit burner, which is technically a refractory burner. I shouldn't call it a pit burner anymore. It will be offended. It worked hard to get where it is in life today. I should recognize its accomplishments. And... There we go. Okay, so... Next on the list for the metal press. I'm gonna need one heavy engineering block, one redstone engineering block. I think we can swing that. And we're going to need two of those steel scaffolding. So, we're going to need some of the steel. We're going to need to... Was it in here? No. There we go. Steel. Scaff. There we go. Yep, another one that's really cheap. You get tons of it. And let's just put this thing, like, right here. So, oh mighty manual, how do we build? Scaffolding, red scaffolding. Let's put it, like, here. Red scaffolding. Let's have it running this some way. And the piston goes in the center block. Okay. The piston goes in the center block self. I think I can rotate that because, yes, it does have to be facing a specific way. But I think I can rotate that with the hammer. There we go. With the heavy engineering block on top. And then a boop, and that's a metal press. Easy as you pleasy. Let's, I guess these are kind of intermediaries. Gets, this is kind of fuel adjacent. Wait, did I already have a place for those somewhere? Eh. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Now, we need to get power to it. So for that, I'm going to need some LV relays. Some more LV wire connectors. Probably not any more LV wire. But yeah, that's just basically a shorter version of the LV connector. Cheaper, you get more of them but they cannot connect directly to a device. All they can do is uh, transport two things. So just as easy as that. We get some of those. And I think it was just... There, like that. And then, because we might as well make a goodly amount of these. There we go. Now, where did I put my LV wire? Right in there. Cool. Do I have any more LV connectors? No, I don't. There we go, and I believe that is just, uh, yep. So for two crafts, I'll just need six. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. And now we can go up here. Connect that up there. And we can start considering how we want to start laying out our wiring system. Well, for now, I think I could just go up yeah, and then change that connection. I think I can do that with a pair of engineers wire cutters, but I'll just I'll just take this end off just to reset the connection the brute force way. You do get the wire back if you didn't see the count change. So we go from here to our relay, then from our relay to our two devices. Ow. Power hurts. There we go. And now, with the metal press, I believe I'm going to need to make a new, yeah, I need to make a new um, engineer's work table in order to make these metal press molds. Cause yeah, they're made on an engineer's workbench. They require a whole different blueprint, a whole different set of stuff. Thankfully, you only need to make these once, but I, I guess I could technically just make the blueprint. I could. Okay, what's the blueprint take? That is just a crafting table in one of those, so I just need to find some more lapis, it's looking like. Well, how many did it require? Three, six, nine, twelve. Well, dang, I am lucky. No wonder lapis is the thing that gives you luck. Now, where's my paper being stored? In there. Cool. Okay. So for that, I need this, that, like that, and then crafting components, common project. I need a. I need a. Uh, I need a. I need a crafting table. Yes. Just a one of those. A. Where was I storing the ash? A one of those. And a one of those, and a one of those. There we go. And from there, I'm gonna need 11 of those, four of those, and a piece of andesite. Oops. There we go. Finally, just need Seven of those, and a single piece of iron. And that should do it. Now, of course, before I craft, I make sure I've got the right one. So if I just dupe and dupe, that is saying crafting components. No, never mind. I want NG plates, metal press molds. But why you you are saying Oh it's stupid. Okay, I got you. I'm on to you. Well we have a spare crafting table for whenever we want it. And there we go. Engineer's blueprints for metal press molds. Now I just need some steel plates. And I think I'm going to need the engineer's cutters. Yeah, engineer's wire cutters. Which are relatively simple. Yeah, just two sticks and a piece of iron.
overrun here. And there we go. So let's of course take the rod as our first recipe. And let's let's make all of them. I'm gonna need more steel plate. I'm gonna need more steel in general. So let's make some more steel in general. And that would be 36. There. And then if I just bung this all in. And where was I storing this? In here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to be saying where was I storing this for a few days. Now that I've rejiggered the storage system. Just making a shelf to store all these plate presses next to the metal press system. Doesn't matter. Redstone controls on both sides. Yes, this is a redstone control. If you put a lever on it, you can turn the metal press on and off manually. It's not that it takes energy passively or anything. You can just stop it from running. And I'm going to want to put a chest at the end of that to catch its output. Didn't I have a... There. Right there. Yep. Conveyor belts, by default, will catch items thrown onto them and will... Well, I guess this isn't a proper conveyor belt. It's part of the, it's part of the metal press. But yes, if uh, an item went onto that conveyor belt, it should just go straight into the chest, no problem. Let that mix a little bit more before I start pouring it. Right, and I want to set up a burn pile for that. How's this doing? Eh, 31's a decent amount. Okay, so let's grab our clay and let's figure out how and where we want to make this burner. Like maybe... Yeah, make it a 27 at a time, just for mass manufacturing purposes. And to make it a, the most pain on myself possible if I want to upgrade this to ash brick. Just because that's how I do. Trolling my future self. It's healthy. Keep one space open just to have and just to give it a uh, give it a light. And I need to put some torches on that probably. I need to have some torches in my inventory probably. That would be helpful. All right, just jump up. Yeah, can't quite reach it. Use these as building blocks. It's okay. Let me up. There we go. Yeah, I was right. This definitely needed a torch. Oh, that's redstone. Okay, now I should be able to just light this and cover it just like a classic pit burn. And unfortunately, ah, there it is. We're seeing smoke coming out the top. Very tiny little wisps of it. As well, if we walk up, we should be able to hear crackling. No, that's just coming from the torch, isn't it? 
Hmm. Well, if we walk back in like 10 minutes and we find that this is empty, then I've done it wrong. And that's just a tragedy. Alright, how's this doing? Yeah, a little bit extra, but that's fine. Are you set to ingot mode? You are. Poor. Alrighty then. Right, 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 right. We were making... I, w I don't want that set to ingot mode. I want that set to plate mode, at least for a little while. I probably want most of it as ingots. But, uh, yeah, I want some of it in the form of pl uh, plates, just so that I can get these built. Let's see, what have I got here? I've got rod, plate, gear. Gonna need wire. Do I want bullets? No. I think that these packing things are useless in this pack. Like normally, this allows you to automate uh, turning things into blocks or turning them back into ingots. But uh, in this pack, unfortunately, those recipes are disabled, I think. Uh, plate, gear, don't want bullets, have wire. I think that's all I want, okay. Now you can go back to ingots. Please and thank you. Why you know? Are you done already? God dang. I built this thing too fast for my own good. Okay. Well... It's a little bit of steel plate. It's fine. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. I'm not going to bother melting it down. Okay, so... Yeah, and I guess a metal press was on the required list of... Uh, so, okay, these rods. I believe I should be able to... Just now, take some steel ingots. Throw them on... Yeah. And they get chunked... Into two rods! So, it is the exact same, uh... It is the exact same ratio as I was getting in the, in the other one. Normally, normally, like, uh... The way it works is, you get a crappy low low uh, efficiency ratio working in any machine but a metal press, but I guess this was some unexpected mercy. Well, we can mass manufacture them anyway. And just to be smancy, let's take our... Uh, oh, the iron nuggets would still be in there, wouldn't they? Let's make a chest and let's make a hopper and let's completely jazz up this entire assembly. There. Now switch this back to the other recipe that we're going to want. Well, I still hear fire crackling, so it must... Ah, uh, and yeah, it's outputting pollution too. So that's good. That's probably an indication that we did something right. It's so putting a hell of a lot of pollution. Wow. Well, this will be a test of how well our ventilation is working. It's interesting how it's kind of sitting up there like a bunch of, like, gelatin blocks. It's only the incoming stuff that's getting put in. The rest of it is just sitting there to help push it, push it forward. The rest of it's moving so slowly in. Hmm. But indeed, the new stuff coming in is kind of getting pushed towards it. Wait, you're sitting right below the filter. Why ain't you going up?
What's going on up there? Okay, if I take this block off... Are you gonna start spitting out any smoke? Like, are you missing any? Do you need to be cleaned? Is that the problem? Okay, the problem was that the ash was built was built up to too high a level. Okay. So that's a lesson. It's not just when this when the uh, output slot is full that it becomes a problem. It's a problem when there is just a small amount in there. Well, the good news is that I have found a way after much research to automate these things. And we are close to the point of unlocking it. All we're going to need is to get the diesel industry going, get the petroleum industry going, I should say. And then we can build some build craft pipes because that is the solution. Build craft is the answer. I'm probably going to have to clean that filter a couple of times before this whole uh, build up is taken care of. In any case, let us build that lovely hopper just to make our uh, our swanky new machine nice and luxurious. And in fact, let's make it completely luxurious because I remember um, that in order to do gears, it needs the output to have one more space on it like that. Because to make a gear, it needs four ingots. And for whatever reason, it doesn't like it if you try and put them all on this one belt. So you need another belt to help input onto it. All right, I have the glue. I just need those. Very good. And now I should be able to put a hopper on Za. And if I load that up with... Let's just use these. Beautiful. Yes, a bit unfortunate that they pile up on that slot instead of going in one at a time. That may be a problem if I queue up a huge order. Maybe things will last long enough to despawn. But, eh, it's not a huge deal. Yep, it's cleaning out. Now I'm going to be paranoid about checking the filter. Hmm. Yep, that filter clogs pretty quick, but that's just because it's working through a backlog and because we have a huge polluter running right now. Like seriously, this thing is impressively stinky. Good lord. I don't know if this stuff is at all useful, but I might as well keep it anyway, just in case. Yeah, it's used for making this. How would we live without this? Hmm. Uses napalm, and I think those are crystal matrix ingots. Well, it's time to start deciding on what our next goal is going to be. And I think our next goal is going to be a pump jack. No, our next goal is the, is what I got distracted from in the first place. This core sample drill. Yes. So now we can make steel. We can make the scaffolding really easily. We can make the fences really easily. We can make all those little gribbly parts nice and simple. The rest of it is just making a bunch of steel. Well, let's get on that. So. How many 
I don't have much in the way of. Oh boy. It is time to expand the charcoal making industry, I think. Yeah, that's sounding like a plan. So, let's make a bunch of refractory bricks and let's increase the luxury pit burner. Just to go along with our new, uh, our new uh, factory, our, our new forestry burner as well. Might as well, you know. And all those, all those. Dupe and dupe. You're getting a bit low. Have some more. And we're also going to need a butt-ton of pulp, which I don't have right now. But that's just a simple matter of uh, using the resources we have on hand, isn't it? Come on, game. There you go. All right. So now let's see what that gets us. 25 bricks so far. It's a start. Was I storing this in here? For some reason. So I think the obvious thing to do is to... Yeah, we're going to have to move this. In fact, we're probably going to have to move everything. Just keep it all centered. Just put you down right here for now. And we're probably going to have to make these drains into proper... Ref well, no, we don't. Not if we're just increasing it to a 3x3. Three three. Yeah. Okay, and I need some sort of block just for helping me place. Anya. And... These I can just, oops. For these I can just derp. Okay. It's looking like I have more than enough to go around. I not only have more than enough to go around, I have almost exactly enough. That's the only better thing than having exactly enough. You still going? Kind of hard to tell. Now, is this made a spawnable area on the inside? It has. I don't like that. Oh, and I need to make these... Well, I don't technically need to make those collectors. But I should make those collectors. So... Yeah, Stone Drain will do a 3x3 three three just fine. And we have just barely enough room. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but oh well. And let's make that one this, because we use this relatively infrequently these days. And then let's move this 
just to keep it centered for aesthetic purposes. Oops. There we go. And did I have something on the other end? I do. And I don't want to move that because our coal tar is, well, we barely have any left. Oops. There, that's better. And yes, this is very unnecessary, but I might as well get this thing looking pretty if I'm going to make it luxury. Make it swanky. Yeah. Good filter still a running. Ah, and the cactus has started to grow. Excellent. I was wondering if it wouldn't grow, because it was going real slow. Okay. You are kind of building block. What was I keeping ash? Right, and I need to put you back in your place. I honestly probably don't need the metal plates at, at all anymore, but I guess we can just keep it anyway. Just in case. And nothing else to put away at the moment. Oh, hammer. There. How's our steel going? I didn't put any steel in because I'm out of charcoal. Well, with four of them, that's a stack's worth. That's a good start for now. Okay. You still going? I think you might be done. Yeah, you're done. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, you aren't done. Okay, never mind. My apologies. Can I... Get those. There. That's very unusual that the... That the charcoal doesn't all happen... Like, all at once, like the luxury burner does. Regardless, let's put this in higher tech intermediaries, because this is used in a lot of carpenter and thermionic fabricator recipes. And yeah, can I just... Ah, good. Okay. Okay. Nothing of import was lost. But yeah, you see, that is in fact worth a lot more charcoal. So maybe the luxury pit burner, despite being cheaper and easier, maybe it's lived to the end of its life despite its sudden new expansion? Maybe. Do I have 27 to put into there? No, I don't. So, it is time to... Well, it is probably time to start smelting out our steel pretty soon, yeah. I'm going to need a bunch of blocks, too. Like, let's see. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is actually... Oh, that's exactly what I just casted. Or what I just smelted, yeah. 
So that works out. Unfortunately, I think if I just leave it going before it's done mixing. Well, it'll waste some iron if I just leave it. Hmm. Okay. I don't hear it. Was I just super unlucky? Did I give it like the exact wrong timing? Where's the other clay blocks? Did I put them away? Why would I do that? So yeah, this method of burning gives us a butt ton of charcoal all at once. I think it takes a little bit longer. And it takes glue to do. So that's problematic. But it gives you the charcoal. And I think that if I use the ash bricks... That should give even more, question mark? Yeah. Okay, so clay gives 12 per. Ash block gives 14 per. Not super worth it. Is there anything that gives more than 14? Uh, end stone. Yeah, I, I guess that when we find end stone, that might be worth it. Hmm. Also, yes, I need to... Hmm. You know what we need? We need to increase our wood income. I think those jungle trees have reached the end of their lifespan in terms of usefulness. They are lovely. They're just a bit too slow. So let's make us a new tool and let's get ourselves... A proper damn charcoal producing tree. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. All right. Well, this won't hurt anything. So, I'm going to need a new set of patterns in order to make a lumber axe. going to need tough binding, tough tool rod, and the lumber. Okay, we've, we've got some to spare. So, tough binding, tough tool rod, and get in there. Why, you know. You already have one? You do. Well, that's un... No. In. Uh, lumberjack head? Yes, you can reformat a pattern just by doing this. So it's not a complete loss. And I think that's all the parts necessary, so... I'll just... Maybe I'll eventually want some shuriken. Okay, and now we need to make the casts for it. So, I'm probably going to want all three pieces. So, that's tough tool binding. Hmm. Need to break up some more gold. I'm sorry if I've been especially scatterbrained tonight. You just have those nights every once in a while, you know? So that'll be tough tool binding. That'll be lumber axe. Already have the plate. Do I want to make a cast for the... Nah. 
All right, so Lumbrex. Tough tool rod, I should say, instead of tough binding. And that should do it. Do I already have a tough tool rod in there? Yes, I do. Never mind. I guess I'll make a knife cast. Why waste the gold? There we go. And now you get me another block of steel cooking. Excellent. And now you give me a lumber axe cooking. Excellent. And how much does it take for the tool, for the tough tool rod? So what do I want to make the tool rod out of? Copper, probably. It's been my answer so far. And that's going to take three ingots of copper, no problem. What got hit? What spawned in order to get hit? Did you? Ah, you're in there. Cool. So we. And yep, yeah, you're all lined up. There we go. So that's two of the pieces. Now, for the large plate and the binding. For the binding, I think I'm just gonna go with paper. Put that over here on the, just to give us another modifier. Uh, paper? has really low durability, really crap stats, but it allows you to put another modifier on your weapon. So if you have it on a part that doesn't affect the tool much, like a binding, it's good for that. Now for the large plates, hmm, I guess for now, I'll go with obsidian. Obsidian's effect of, uh, that's not obsidian, where it is? There it is. Obsidian's effect durite um, kind of acts like a gambler's reinforcement. It either causes it to take zero durability or two durability, but it's slightly weighted towards the zero. So you get, sl oh, that's what took damage. Neat. Huh, I recognize you now. Can I use you for anything? Not really. Neat. I can't even like, yeah, I, I'm, right, I'm right clicking it. In Subnautica, these bladder fishes could just be eaten raw to give you a bit of air, but uh, anyway, anyway. So our lumber ax. Yeah, that's kind of neat looking. Yes, your tool lasts longer most of the time. Has a nice high durability, nice mining level, mining speed, all that, and four modifiers. And we are going to make this thing chuffy. I am going to go right away into putting all four of my modifiers into reinforced because the lumber axe for what we're gonna use it for is gonna take a beating. So to make those reinforcements, I'm gonna need to take some gold and simply chuck it in here. 
keep on doing this while I'm distracted with other things. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take all my casts completely off the table and just pour gold in to get a blank cast. And that is the basis for most of the um, most of the Tinker's upgrades that you don't just that you don't just get from putting like a diamond on the tool. Technically, it can be any cast, but really, you want to use a blank one just so that you're not wasting something needlessly. And then I believe it's in here. We take those blank casts, we surround them with obsidian, and that gets us the reinforcement modifier. What a reinforcement does is each and every level of reinforcement you put on a tool gives a 20% chance that the tool doesn't use any durability. And it stacks. Yup. So this thing has an 80% chance to not use any durability. And if we can get one more modifier on this thing through any means, it'll become completely unbreakable. Okay, name. Might as well go with tradition. Now, let's just swap the time around. And let's go get us a nice special tree. Are the fancy pants empty? Yep. Now I am gonna be peeking my head into the forest for this one, but hopefully not for too terribly long. And if some monsters come up to bother us, we can hopefully deal with them. Hopefully. You know, let's, uh, this will fill up the XP tank on these real nicely. Yeah, that looks like it'll be real nice for the charcoal industry, doesn't it? So, what the lumber axe does is if you cut down... Whoa, butterfly! Shoot! Okay then, we need to hire some guards. We need to hire some guards. Do I have anything on hand that I can sell them real quick to get me money? Some iron. I don't need much. If I build, if I just get enough to get a single window, I can get effectively infinite money. Uh, I should have some cobble. A stack of cobble would get me a silver, and that might be enough. I am heading the wrong way. I forgot about the death butterflies. The death butterflies are probably in there to prevent you from doing this. You know what? That helps. Yeah, okay. We'll take care of that in a minute. Oh, you need some more banners. You need some more iron. Hmm. And it's for the fort. Okay. Regardless. Yeah, that's good enough. And then I can just immediately jank myself into additional funding.
That'll do. Okay. Some likely lads. Kill the butterflies for me. Suddenly everyone's missing. <laughs> They're afraid. They hear what I'm after and they just want no part of it. Seriously, where are they? Fluttershy, old reliable. There you are. Okay. Maybe get a couple more. Just so that they have a nice... A nice chance of actually winning the fight. Because those butterflies are the fiercest foe we've faced yet. Let me buy one unit of tripes, just so I have some emergency healing. Hello? You're too busy slaughtering cows to commit to, com to, commit to selling me? What are you doing? You're slaughtering a cow and you're off the chat. What are you? Are you stuck in a loop? Well, you're not the guy who says he's coming to sell me stuff anyway. You know what? Forget it. I have tripes over at the corpse. We just need to go and get it. You can join us. Now, last time this happened, the butterflies de-aggroed on me after my death. I think it's trying to cut down a tree that pisses them off. So hopefully I can get my stuff in peace, get re-equipped, and then attempt to cut down a tree again in order to just get the, uh, and hopefully when the butterflies aggro, they will, uh, attract the attention of my men. Let's wear the tankier set anyway. Where is my tank? I don't think that's all my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did the butterfly straight up eat some of my stuff? Did it clip into the wall? What's going on here? This is some BS right here. I mean, I don't think I lost anything major. Was I carrying them inside the fancy pants? No. Well, regardless, let's piss him off and let's get him dead. Yep, this is what the lumber axe do. Isn't it beautiful? It's raining wood and XP. It's wonderful. It's really taking out our hunger and we have no food. Yep, 
But this is why I put all that reinforcement on our lumber axe, because can you imagine if this thing were naked? I would have to repair this like three or four times to cut down a single tree. Whoop. I I'm being attacked. Why are you not killing it? Oh, no, wait. I'm not being attacked. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Never mind. I was wondering why I didn't jump backwards from taking the damage. Okay, let's put the fancy pants on. Maybe the fancy pants is what offended them. Who knows? I don't get the butterflies. Yep. Giant sequoia. Really giant sequoia. It's going to fill up the fancy pants and then some. Yep. We can't even move. So much wood. There, that's better. Yep, and those leaves are going to take a little while to decay, so... Let's go... Let's get some food. And let's... Let's start to put away our treasure. But yes, the real treasure here is picking up these saplings, so I don't need to go back to the forest every time. Now, these giant sequoias, I need to plant uh, 16 of these saplings in a 4x4 square in order to grow one. But they are also going to drop a hell of a lot of saplings because they are huge. So they are a very farmable tree. We aren't going to be running short. They are they are sapling po positive. They aren't like Thomcraft silver was. Regardless, let's just start to put it all away. Yeah. And definitely, oh, the medallion. I lost the medallion. That sucks. And did I lose my coin purse? I lost my coin purse. Well, let's keep on looking in that area now that we know that it's relatively safe and we need to be there to wait on the uh, saplings to fall anyway. But yeah, you can see that even just growing one of these, even if it's like half the speed of a normal Minecraft tree, it's still worth it. Because it is a lot. That poor cow. Don't want anything in my hot bar. There we go. I said I don't want any of you in my hot bar. Oh, that's the problem. It's that I threw the stick on the ground in order to unstick myself. Goodness, the lag is getting something fierce. Oof. It's probably all those leaf decay events happening. So do I need to just cut this down in order to find my stuff? Thank you. You're a huge help. Oh, 
Eh, it's not looking like it. Get out of the way, cow. Get out of the way, other cow. I feel bad about disrupting the flow of this building and I'm trying to undo my sins. Stop interrupting me. Uh, sure, you can just hang out there. That's close to how we found it. Just throw out the oak. Oh, damn. Where's my stuff? That sucks. It shouldn't have despawned by now. So where is it? Did you take it? Well, I guess you wouldn't answer me if you did. Yeah, it's not in your house. None of these are inventory blocks or anything like that. So... I'm down a medallion and a coin purse for no discernible reason. Possibly some other things. Did I have my Geiger counter on me? I possibly did. Now the, the Geiger counter isn't a huge deal, not until we get into nuclear craft. Goddamn butterflies. I tell you what. Worst enemy in the game. All right, let's get out of here before they decide to randomly enact their bloodlust once more. We have the main thing that we were after anyway. And now we know any time that I want to go into the forest for whatever reason, always bring guards. Even if I'm just poking my head in to get a tree. Because the butterflies are incredibly aggressive. Hmm. Bone meal, you say. Lapis, you say. Hmm. Just in case I need some more lapis, you know? Yeah, it'll probably be a few days before that Viking shows up again. Yeah. Oh, and my torches are gone. Of course. Okay, well, let's just get you to stop following me, please. You were a huge help, but uh, go away. Thank you and goodbye. Well, maybe we didn't make a super a huge amount of progress today. But I do think that we made a nice amount of it. We have a new device. We have a little bit more luxury. We have a new burner that is going to produce us tons of charcoal. And now we have the tree to power it. Yes. And in fact, I saw that the... Uh, the artist was selling bone meal white thigh i suppose yeah you're selling that for a reasonable price so if i just take this then i can boop yep and just like that, we have enough wood to fuel our industry for a good little while. And just to confirm it for you, indeed, this stuff will serve for both types of log piles. If I just doop, 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 yep, there it goes.
And in fact, if I, oh, the pantsy pants are already loaded with them. Sweet. Yep, I can just load this thing up and we can produce a lot. So that is a nice little bit of progress that we made. I think that uh, that's probably going to be what'll do it for today. I guess this is farming adjacent. This is ingot adjacent. This is, this is definitely farming adjacent. Uh, let's go get us a new purse. At the very least, let's get a new purse. I'm already mourning the loss of the medallion. It was so nice not having to sleep at all, even if I needed daytime. But, oh well. Alright, I needed to get these guys some stuff. Well, I need them to get me some stuff. Please and thank you. Uh, new coin pouch. And that's it for now. Yeah, I have enough money to continue on the good old infinite window cheese if I need money for any other reason. I should replace those dark spots before I forget about them. And in fact, I should go buy some wool and I should uh, make those banners and get them some more iron before I forget about it too, because that's a fort upgrade. You always want to go for the fort upgrades. Hmm. You know, technically I think that I could start on bees. I just don't want to. I desperately don't want to. Hmm. I hope that there isn't some resource that desperately needs bees. Let's just get them a couple. Let's get them a nice couple of those. And I think the other thing they needed was just some more iron. Which I gave them a ton of iron. I guess they used it all in the... They used it all for uh, building up the town walls. That is a very thirsty project. Okay, there we go. And hopefully this should be all the banners they ever need. If not, that's no problem. Okay, and let's also get our inventory back into the order that I'm accustomed to. Yes, and this... Oh, right, the butterflies. They distracted me from holding my arrows out so that they could refill... Oh, well. The next time that we break one of those trees, that'll just be something we do. Hmm. You know, Tinker's Construct has a uh, modifier that should automatically smelt whatever you are mining. So normally what you do is you get one of those big trees like a redwood and you... You uh, use that to just instantly chop it down into charcoal, even if it's less efficient. It's instant, you know? I tried it out in a creative world, and it doesn't work in this pack. You really need to use these burners to get yourself some charcoal. Okay, no more dark spots in here right now. And they... Ah, they did expand the roof, though. Let me in, please. 
Yes, unfortunately, it looks like some of them are dying from diseases and dropping their blood all over the place. This town is getting a little bit unsanitary. Okay. Accept this gift of banners and enjoy yourself. Oh, iron. I forgot to get them iron. <laughs> Don't shut me out of there so rudely. Hmm. You say you have four out of four, but you also say you have zero out of four. Which one is true? Regardless, the answer is more iron. The answer is always, or at least it's very frequently, more iron. The only time it's not more iron is when the answer is more copper. That's just how life goes. What's in our smelter? A bunch of stuff, I imagine. Yeah, a little bit of liquefacted coal. Wait, a little bit of liquefacted coal? Why? I should have done everything to even ratio. Oh, well. Let's just get everything out of there. Any, any extras I can just delete. It's fine. We can put this away. Ah, and we have a we have a backup tank anyway. That's good. We're mostly back in order. Right, more iron. That's what I'm here for. There we go. Just smack it all down. Get them a nice big bundle of iron, hopefully enough to completely finish everything they need to do. I thought I already gave them like a couple hundred iron. Did I not give them enough or did the armory steal some? But yeah, see these new swanky inner walls they're building? Looks very nice. Or not inner, but uh, stone and iron and the proper castle walls. There we go. Yeah, you're saying 191 out of 272. Hmm. Who knows? Either way. They're now well on their way to upgrading a whole bunch of stuff at once. So, today was a, a bit infested by derp, I'll admit. But we did manage a little bit of progress. We've managed... Uh, I think the most important thing we've done is we've revolutionized our charcoal industry. Between the new forestry burner and the expanded luxury burner, I think we should be able to keep up on the charcoal demand quite well. And we've also discovered the pressing need to occasionally clean the filter up there. Yes. Ah, good. Oh, I'm missing my flint and steel. I'm probably going to be stumbling across things I'm missing for a little while. That's lovely. That's also at least an easy one to replace. One, one of those. Do I have any iron ore? I do. Remind me what else I need. Two tier ones. I'm actually kind of low on tier ones. Just because I ever so rarely use them. I should have some standard good old fashioned bricks around here somewhere. Yes, no, maybe so. Did I accidentally put them in ingots? What's going on? Have I just missed them? Ah, there they are. Let's put those in the pyrotech chest, since that's the place I first instinctively looked for them. There we go. And in fact, let's not clog up our chest with mountains of sequoia. 
let's turn these into standard log piles and let's do a kind of compare and contrast tomorrow. Yeah, we can make a lot. That is from one tree that we very easily regrew with a tiny amount of bone meal. We have, uh, we have wood for days. And I think it's even fairly pretty wood if I cut some up on the sawmill. Oh, right. I need to expand the drains on this thing, too. Well, that sounds like a tomorrow problem. Did I derp it up somewhere in there? There we go. Why, you know. Because these are the wrong wood piles. These are all the wrong wood piles, ain't they? Not all, but most. Well, at least it didn't ignite anyway and then waste some of the especially expensive ones. There. That's more like it, right? Right. And now, do these ones. Just pile it all up in there in a way that'll actually let me fill the thing. And a boop, and a boop. And tomorrow we'll let that burn down and we'll compare and contrast how they do. In the meantime, I think that I have tarried on for far too long already, even though I have a few other things I could be doing, like finishing the drains on the luxury burner. But you know, good night, everybody. Have yourself a pleasant evening.